the security has not just been for the school premises, but it is also in terms of the teachers and the principal themselves feeling unsafe themselves. And there are some specific things that they've been asked to, to do, including um, make sure that anyone who's coming to the school, to them or to any of the students, have made an appointment. And if you have not made an appointment, you show up at the gate and you do not have a legitimate reason to be here, that indeed that you will not be allowed in. We know that there are parents who like to bring lunch for their children, they come in and pick up the children, they drop off the children, do many things with their children. The intention is to ensure that parents have the access to their children that they need to have. And the principal will in fact be sending out a note to parents indicating what are some of the new protocols and the ways in which they will be able to continue to have access to their children. We have also determined that the children are to be encouraged to be at school on time. We strongly encourage them to be at school on time because we want to ensure that at the appropriate time, the gates of the school will be, will be closed. However, I want to make it clear, while those gates will be closed, we have no intention of denying access to education of any of the children. And so the principal and the management of the school have been asked to come up with a proper plan to ensure that children have access to education, that um, the teachers are able to access the school with the freedom that you would expect them to do and have the kind of um, support from security that will allow them to feel safer while the board itself does the work that the board has to do to ensure that the longer term, more medium and longer term solutions are put in place to improve the security. So security was one matter. A second matter that was raised was resourcing of the school. In addition to security and resourcing, another issue that was raised, and it was raised by several teachers, and certainly the ministry agrees, there is a need for greater parental accountability for the children. It was raised over and over again that the teachers are asking to do more than is their fair share in terms of maintaining discipline, in terms of feeding, in terms of giving guidance and direction to the students. And while that is part of their remit, they believe that it is significantly more than it ought to be for them because of course the parents are not pulling their weight in some cases. I'm not saying this is the case with all parents. There are some parents who are attentive, who are responsible, and who are fully accountable for what their children are doing but far too many are not. And the teachers are beginning to feel it. And the teachers have asked that we come up with a stronger way to compel parents to be accountable for their children. And we have agreed that we will continue to have that as part of our conversation with the teachers as well as with the parents. As you know, we have been doing consultations on education transformation. And the parental accountability has been a recurrent theme. And we have determined the chief will, of course, be facilitating those consultations on how best we can manage parent accountability in a meaningful way. So a longer term solution will need to be put in place. But we need now. I am appealing to parents. Parents, please look after your children. Make sure that they get something to eat. And if they cannot get something to eat for because of your circumstances, let us try to find ways in which to help those children get something to eat and be healthy and to be safe in what they're doing. Also, please help them to get to school on time. We know that some people have complained that there's a bus situation. We get that. Ask them to get up a little bit earlier. Ask them to leave a little bit earlier. And the ministry ourselves, we will have to continue to work with the transport board to do our part. But we need you also as parents to do your part to ensure that your children are getting to school early and in fact doing the assignments that they are required to do as part of their learning journey.